Excellent response. And I saw some of you have at least three in that short time frame. So they can be an earring. Ladies, they can hold your bra strap. You can reset your phone. You could create a belt. And what else did any of you come up with here in the front? Anyone? You did the exercise, right? Just testing. Clear a pen. Oh, a pin, like as in a, a gap in your blouse. Thank you. Another lady solution. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to test you again in a few minutes to see how fast you are on this, but that is an example of how fast are we on the fly with our creative solutions. The generation's impact, as I mentioned, is huge when we're looking at how we do change. Generation Y wants fast change. Generation X has modeled the Zoomers' pace of change, and Zoomers doing the best they can to put the structures in place to implement the change that Generation X and Y want quickly. Does this sound familiar to all of you? Here's the challenge that many Gen Ys have, is they want it now. And part of that is because we as their parents, by the way, I have a 25-year-old daughter and two stepsons, 33 and 31. We as our parents have given Gen Ys an instant reality. How many of you realize this? So when we say Gen Ys are, um, when people say make generalizations that Gen Ys are confident, they are. Why? Because we as parents said to them, you can be and do anything. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. When you go to school and you don't get the grade that you want, demand to have your grade reassessed. <laughs> Zoomers, many Zoomers were raised by the traditional parents to be like this. Be grateful you have a job. <laughs> work hard. Gen X watched the Zoomers work hard, and they've said, i got to have a life. <laughs> Gen X is looking for the balance. All of these are impacting how we do change, because the future of change is all about moving the organization forward, but it's also about engaging the people involved as we move forward in order to keep it being successful.